Last week, our neighbours slipped a note under the door to let us know they're really mad at us. Protesters have rallied around the world, calling on the Australian government to renegotiate a maritime boundary with East Timor. East Timor is being shortchanged out of billions of dollars in gas and oil revenue, which should, under international law, belong to East Timor. East Timor has been arguing for eight years that the sea border should fall halfway between it and Australia. Australia is accused of violating the law of the sea and not the one about what not to do on the poop deck. <laughs> It's, look, it, it's fun, but you will lose your deposit on the yacht. <laughs> I mean the United Nations law of the sea that says that maritime borders should be halfway between countries. But if we did that, it would put all of that East Timorese oil in East Timorese waters. You know, <laughs> luckily, Australia cleverly created the Joint Petroleum Development Area, or as I like to call it, the Petro Profit Polygon, <laughs> which allows the law of the sea to be overruled by the international law of, you know, just calling dibs. <laughs> but for some reason, East Timor has a problem with that. East Timor sought international arbitration at The Hague on the grounds that Australia had not negotiated that deal in good faith. They're taking us to The Hague? We're not war criminals. The, the negotiations were a David and Goliath battle. And in a refreshing twist, Goliath finally won. <laughs> and surely we need the money more than them. I mean, we've got a debt and deficit disaster and you cannot argue with alliteration. Its fragile economy is almost completely dependent on that petroleum revenue. It's expected to generate about $40 billion in government revenue. Uh, so obviously that, that's a lot of money, particularly for a country like East Timor, which is the second poorest uh, in, in Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, still, a deal's a deal, East Timor. You know, if the treaty's so bad, why did you sign it? In 2004, Australia and East Timor were hammering out a new treaty to divide up the royalties. Under the guise of an aid program for the impoverished country, a spy from the Australian Secret Intelligence Service slipped into Dili. He was there to bug the East Timorese cabinet, the room where the negotiating team talked tactics. Sure, you could say that we spied on them under the guise of an aid program, but that would be ignoring the fact that we had an aid program. <laughs> so we've, we've got that. I guess we haven't been the best neighbours, all right? But, but it's not too late to make amends. How about we have East Timor around for a barbecue, fire up the grill, and it won't even cost us much because we have got a shit ton of gas from East Timor. <laughs> it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter where we got it. Let's just say it came from a friend.